When water town first floated the idea of welcoming refugees, there was a big backlash. Among other things, people worried refugees would live off welfare or take jobs from local workers. In part two of her series, The Refugee Idea, 7 News anchor Diane Rutherford looks at how refugees breathe new life into an old town. Di? Ann and Brian, we're talking about Utica, where refugees make up an estimated 25% of the population. Officials there admit that when refugees first come to the city, they need government help. But once they get on their feet, they're described as an economic engine that has turned Utica around. We are like the United Nations in there. I mean, there's every color, creed. Welcome to Delft Blue, a meatpacking plant just outside of Utica. 80% of the workers are refugees hungry for a job and eager to do anything to get a piece of the American dream. Our white Caucasian doesn't want to do this type of work. It's very difficult. You're standing on your feet all day long. It's a, it's a cold, damp environment. This is manual labor. And a lot of people don't want to do manual labor. Za Ah came to the United States from Burma in 2008. Back then, he spoke no English and had no job. Today, he's a packing supervisor at the plant. I'm very, very proud to be here. Now, um, now that I got a job, I got a car, I got a house, everything, you know, and a, a lot of better for my kids. Refugees like the ones we met at the plant earn money and pump it right back into the local economy. And they do contribute. They get jobs, they buy homes, and they stay here. And they're a um, wonderful part of the community. So they've been really wonderful for the city of Utica in getting properties back on the tax rolls. All the people we talk to in Utica say the city's social and economic landscape has changed for the better thanks to refugees and immigrants. There are plenty of ethnic restaurants and grocery stores. Empty houses are now homes. Bosnian refugees repaired an old crumbling church targeted for the wrecking ball and turned it into a mosque where hundreds of people now worship. There are whole neighborhoods that had really been abandoned that have been revitalized. Uh, businesses have started. Employers have um, stayed here because of the workforce refugees provide. Utica is one of 400 sites around the country that resettle refugees. To become one of those sites, a community has to show it has enough access to jobs, housing, health care, and education, something Watertown might explore as it considers the refugee idea. Ann and Brian.